Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to be working with the Touch GUI library for P5.js, and I'm going to make a toggle button, which is when I click the button, it will evaluate as true until I click the button again, in which it will then return to false. So I already have kind of my boilerplate here for the Touch GUI library. So first thing I needed to do was to add this one line of code into my index.html. That line of code you can retrieve from the GitHub here for the Touch GUI library, which I'll include in the comments below. Then just copy and paste it here. Um, then to get the library up and running, I create a variable here, which I have called GUI. And then in setup, I assign the create GUI object to that. And then in draw, what I need to do is add draw GUI, open, close parentheses. And that will be all I need to have the library functional. But now I need to actually start creating objects uh, to add for this interface. So I'm going to create a variable called toggle, which is going to be a variable that's going to hold my toggle button object. And so here in setup, I'm going to do toggle equals and then create toggle is what we would write to create this toggle switch. Um, now the first argument that I'm going to provide is just the name. And then the next two arguments as is with all the objects in the touch GUI library is the X and Y position of where that object is going to be located on the canvas. So I'm just going to do it 50 X and 50 Y. And then I press play and the button appears right there with the name that was provided here. So in this case, that name does show up on the object. Now it can take uh, two more arguments which can size the object to my specification. So the next argument would be how big it is on the x-axis and then how big it is on the y-axis. So I can do like 50-50 for a square button there, which works. Although you see toggle is um, a little too big, so maybe I will change this to 70 and 70. And there you see now I have a little square button. Okay, so now what I want to do is make this button do something. So the idea is when I click the toggle switch, you see it kind of changes color and holds there. So it will remain in the on position until I click it again, and then it will be in the off position. So when it is off, it is a, the value of this button is uh, going to be false, and when I click it, and it is on, the value will be true. So if we're working with true and false, we want to use a conditional statement. So I just do my basic conditional parts here, the if statement, the parentheses, where the condition will be evaluated as true or false, and then what I want to happen inside of these brackets here. So the thing we want to evaluate true or false is the value of this specific object, which we have called toggle. So I will refer to that by name, toggle, and then dot val. And that will, the value of the button will either be true or false. So because it's true or false, I don't need to include any like equals or um, checking for equality or anything like that. We'll simply evaluate as true or false. So I'm just gonna do a simple ellipse here and I'll just have it at 200, 200, and 100. So if I click this button, an ellipse will appear. And if I click it again, the ellipse will go away. So I press here, click, and you see the ellipse has appeared. And then I click it again, and the ellipse disappears. So that is really all there is to this toggle switch. If I wanted to do something a little different, instead of uh, that maybe I could do a fill for red, but if I can include an else statement here and a fill just to make it white again. So if the button is in the on position, it'll be red. If it's in the off position, it'll be white. The ellipse will be there regardless. So I click, it turns red, and it stays red. Even if I'm not pushing the button, I click it again. And it turns white. And that is all there is to creating the toggle switch in the Touch GUI library.